Number 10. Ancient Egyptian Ruins Space archaeologist Sarah Parchak, often called the Indiana Jones of low Earth orbit, recently discovered an incredible ancient Egyptian ruin using new satellite technology. Sarah employed remote sensing tools and satellite imagery to expose not one, but a whole collection of forgotten archaeological sites from lost cultures. Her area of expertise happens to be Egypt. To date, she's found no less than 3,000 ancient settlements, over a dozen pyramids and plenty of tombs, all within the confines of the ancient city of Tanis. Sarah was also the one who managed to identify the scope of looting that happened after the Arab Spring in 2011, finding dozens and dozens of plundered tombs using satellites. The thousands of settlements Sarah identified using satellite imagery have yet to be explored, never mind excavated, but the important part is knowing that they're there. Sarah has also found an old Roman harbor that archaeologists completely missed, as well as a new Viking site in Newfoundland, Canada. She identified what may be the second Viking settlement built in North America. And finally, Sarah was able to uncover a ceremonial platform in the old city of Petra, something that no professional excavator ever discovered, despite Petra being one of the most famous archaeological places in the world. As of right now, Sarah is working to fully map Peru, hoping to find even more lost cities and crumbling ruins from outer space. Number 9. The Loch Ness Monster As it turns out, the Loch Ness Monster may be so large that it can be seen from space. A shadowy form estimated to be over 100 feet 30 meters in length, boasting two massive flippers was spotted in the waters of Loch Ness, Scotland, all thanks to a satellite. The image cropped up a little while ago and scientists spent a full six months studying the thing, trying to get a hold on what they were seeing. Experts working with the official Loch Ness Monster fan club are positive this creature revealed in the satellite image is the Great Beast, especially since scientists seem unable to come up with any other logical answer. The president of the club, Gary Campbell, says they've looked seriously at all possibilities. The shape does kind of look like the wake from a boat, except that there are no boats in the lake. The best that anyone can tell is that the creature is underwater swimming south. Unless there's a secret submarine operating in Loch Ness, this object is almost certainly the legendary sea monster itself. You might be thinking, well, what about a log or a seal? These theories don't pan out either because of the shape of the creature in the image. It very clearly has a large head and two flippers. It doesn't look anything like a log, and seals don't usually grow to be over 100 feet, 30 meters in length. Number 8. The Ocean Glowing Satellites have found a part of the ocean that glows. It's no alien activity or nuclear power plant under the sea, though. It's far too big. Recent images taken by satellites have shown over a dozen incidences of bioluminescence in the ocean, with the smallest of them being over a hundred times larger than the size of Manhattan. Believe it or not, this is not the first time someone has witnessed the ocean glowing as if a million glow sticks leaked into the waves. The Greeks wrote about the phenomenon, and so did the Romans. Even Charles Darwin recorded seeing waves glowing luminescent when he was aboard the HMS Beagle on one particularly dark night. This was off the coast of South America, with Darwin witnessing bright waves rolling as far as the eye could see. Thanks to new technology, scientists have finally been able to document bioluminescence in the ocean on a massive scale. The satellites, 500 miles 800 kilometers above the surface of the Earth, took pictures of giant glowing patches of microorganisms that turned the sea bright shades of blue and green. According to Stephen D. Miller, a satellite specialist at the Colorado State University, the glowing is caused by trillions of small bacteria lighting up at the exact same time. Imagine billions of worms glowing bright blue on the surface of the ocean, except way smaller than ordinary worms. The bacteria do this to lure fish close to them so they can feed off their guts. Number 7. Prehistoric Cult Ancient monuments were found in the desert of Saudi Arabia back in the 1970s called Mustatils. They're so old that they predate the first pyramid constructed in Egypt and the erection of Stonehenge by over 2,000 years. These mustatils were built during a long period of time stretching between 8,500 and 4,800 years ago, during what scientists call the Middle Holocene period. They cover an area of at least 77,000 square miles, 200,000 square kilometers in northern Arabia. But technology has come a long way since the 1970s. Recent scientists wanted to get a better understanding of these mysterious structures, so they used satellite imagery and helicopter flybys to study and identify over a thousand additional mustatils spread throughout the desert. The project was led by a research team from the University of Western Australia who have actually come up with a theory as to what the structures are. The researchers say these strange stone structures were built by a prehistoric cattle cult. This is in part because archaeologists on the ground found the remains of animals inside the structures, things like cow bones and cow skulls. These animals may have been offered up to the gods as sacrifices. 
Archaeologist Hugh Thomas says the structures were almost certainly used for ritual purposes during the Neolithic era. However, the big mystery is that scientists don't know what the cattle cult wanted, what gods they worshipped, or what logic they saw in slaughtering their cows to appease their unknown gods. Number 6. Human Ancestors An ancient human ancestor from 2 million years ago has been discovered, all thanks to Google Earth. Lee Berger, a paleoanthropologist, was the one who directed researchers to the fossils of the prehistoric human inside of the Malapa Caves near Johannesburg. He was using Google Earth to survey caves in the region when he learned how to identify caves of interest. He marked down over 500 previously unexplored caves in the area, and it was within one of these caves that the new discovery of the homonym Australopithecus sebdia was found. Lee was telling the archaeologists where to go on the ground, and it was thanks to his efforts that they made the discovery so quickly. But what about this new type of homonym? Approximately 130 bones belonging to a pair of youngsters were found hidden inside the cave system. Dr. Berger claims this new type of homonym is a transitional species, meaning that it existed sometime between the African ape man and Homo habilis, the latter of which came before the Homo erectus. In other words, the fossils inside the cave belonged to the missing link, a previously undocumented species that existed between apes and humans. Researchers found that the creature had a very small brain, though its brain was shaped more like a human's than a monkey's. Do you think archaeologists will find more bones as they keep exploring the caves? Tell us your thoughts in the comments below. Then remember to subscribe to American Eye for more awesome videos just like this one. Number 5. Antarctic Face A massive face has been discovered on the surface of Antarctica thanks to Google Earth. The face seems to be a carving potentially made thousands or even millions of years ago. The carving resembles an alien face pushing up through the snow. It's quite distinct as well with a protruding forehead, thin slits for eyes, a small nose, and an open mouth. The carving is undoubtedly humanoid, though it may not have been made to look like a person, but rather an extraterrestrial. Some conspiracy theorists believe the carving was either left behind by an ancient civilization that dwelled in Antarctica, or even by an alien race that had once lived on the icy continent. Even more amazing is that the face can still be seen on Google Maps today. It hasn't disappeared, suggesting it's not simply some accidental formation of snow and ice. But the area around the face is still obscured by the snow. There could be even more monuments related to the giant face. The problem is that the carving is in an extremely remote part of Antarctica where researchers are probably not going to explore anytime soon. We're going to have to wait until a team of scientists actually goes to take a look or until the ice melts and satellite images reveal the rest of this mysterious megastructure. Number 4. Lost Pyramid Egyptologists recently confirmed that there could be two pyramid complexes never before explored. This comes after satellite images from Google Earth revealed the shapes of lost pyramids in the middle of the Egyptian desert. One of these pyramids appears to be about 140 feet, 40 meters in width, and four distinct sides. From the air, it obviously looks like a pyramid. The second pyramid is a little different. It's a collection of mounds with a triangular-shaped plateau at the top. This means that unlike most pyramids, it's flat instead of pointy at the top. Nobody knows if these are indeed real pyramids or simply shapes made by the desert sands. The one to discover these mysterious pyramids is Angela Michael, a satellite researcher from North Carolina who's been hunting for mysterious archaeological sites on Google Earth for the last decade. Scientists are currently waiting to use special infrared satellite technology to confirm the existence of pyramids beneath the sand before they send their own researchers to do any excavations. If these do prove to be pyramids, they could reveal a previously unknown piece of Egyptian history. This could be one of the most important discoveries in Egypt since the uncovering of King Tut's tomb. But at the same time, there could also be nothing there except dirt. This is the challenge that comes with doing satellite research. Sometimes things aren't always what they appear when looking at them from space. Number 3. Prehistoric Huts An incredible archaeological site was discovered on the side of a Welsh mountain thanks to researcher Ian Fewings, who had originally been looking for a firing range from World War I. He realized there was something not quite right about the farmland on the mountain and brought this team of archaeologists out to investigate. They were quick to discover a series of prehistoric huts that were likely used from between the Neolithic era to the Bronze Age. The local Aberystruth Archaeological Society spent roughly six weeks excavating the mysterious dwellings to try and decipher what they could about the ancient inhabitants. Ian says they've discovered a lot about how tribes of hunter-gatherers spent their days in the United Kingdom thousands of years ago. One of the most interesting aspects of the prehistoric huts is that they were not meant to be permanent dwellings. Instead, they were seasonal camps where people lived while hunting wild game in the region. They likely followed herds of red deer up into the mountains and then hunted them during the spring. Then in the autumn after the summer heat, they would seek warmer ground and take what meat they could with them. 
These seasonal hunting shacks may have been used by primitive people for thousands of years. Archaeologists have also discovered a mysterious burial cairn, small collection of flint tools, and proof that the site was likely first used about 6,000 years before today. Number 2. Atlantis The lost city of Atlantis may have just been found on the coast of Spain thanks to satellite technology. A team of researchers from the United States analyzed satellite images of what they suspect could be the submerged city slightly north of Cadiz. The legendary city of Atlantis they now believe was probably wiped out by a tsunami thousands of years ago and is still lost beneath the waves. Richard Freund, a professor at the University of Hartford, said Atlantis was probably located just along the shores of Spain. With the tsunami that destroyed the city wiping out about 60 miles, 100 kilometers of the land and pulling a gigantic piece of earth into the sea. Unfortunately, archaeologists haven't actually gone diving in the area yet to check and see if the ruins are real. The satellite images simply show the shape of something that could be a city. However, the researchers found evidence of memorial cities that could have been built by the survivors of the destruction of Atlantis. Richard says that the Atlanteans who managed to escape fled slightly inland and then built new cities, and these potential cities have been identified in satellite images just off the coast. The reason archaeologists haven't identified these mysterious memorial cities before is that the ruins are buried. It's only because of the satellite images that researchers could identify the shape of the cities, even though the structures have long since been destroyed. Number 1. The Murmansk The Murmansk is a Russian cruiser that once struck fear into the hearts of NATO admirals. It was a powerful machine, the star of the Soviet Navy's northern fleet. At least it was until it turned into an embarrassment when it got trapped on a Norwegian fjord back in the 1990s. The warship was unable to be saved and became an eyesore off the Norwegian coast, where it remained an abandoned piece of Soviet technology. The ship crashed in 1994 and was completely forgotten until 2009, when financing was finally gathered to get the ship disassembled. The decision was made to take the thing apart piece by piece. Before the ship was broken apart and taken away, there were some pretty cool satellite images taken of the wreckage. It almost looked like a big steel monster prowling beside the cliffs of Norway. The salvage team had to build an artificial dock around the structure and then rip it apart slowly, finally finishing the project in 2013. Which of these insane discoveries is your favorite? Let us know in the comments and thanks for watching. Be sure to hit subscribe and come back soon for more videos like these.